Hi y'all, Kraken Latte here. Welcome to a new mini-series where I cover my results from leveling through each zone in World of Warcraft. This data is being collected in order to make my new leveling guides. As you can imagine, going through each zone in WoW, sometimes even twice due to faction differences, is going to take a while. So, in the meantime, I'll share my findings with you. Since the process of leveling was changed in 9.0, including the introduction of Chromi Time and the removal of heirloom buffs, zones give different results than before, and that's why I'm redoing them all. I'm not going to repeat the ground rules again so as not to bore all of you who saw the first episode. If you haven't seen it though, please go watch that so you can understand my results and not wonder why yours may look different. Let's get right into it. Continuing from part one of Kalimdor, we are moving into Desolus. This is a contested territory, which means it has two different faction quest lines, one for Alliance and one for Horde. Albeit they are actually extremely similar in this zone, and I didn't realize that until after I had done it. So, as Alliance, I went from 40 to 44 in 141 minutes, and as Horde, I went from 40 to 44 in 148 minutes very similar results. There is a good percentage of RNG quests in this zone, and everything is very spread apart, but the lore is really cool with the centaurs and stuff, so if you don't mind the travel time, the quests are kind of neat. Moving right along, we have another contested zone with split quest lines for the factions. We have Southern Barons. For Alliance, I went from 10 to 20 in 105 minutes, and for Horde, I went from 10 to 20 in 86 minutes. Very similar results for the levels, but the Horde side is notably faster, and actually one of the better zones in Kalimdor. And I found it pretty fun, the quest there, and you get to see Mancrick in his later stages. <laughs> Next on the list, we have Dustwallow Marsh, another contested zone with split faction quest lines. For Alliance, I went from 20 to 31 in 150 minutes, and for Horde, I went from 20 to 30 in 129. The Horde side is arguably faster, as the questing hub is a lot closer to most of the quests. The Alliance one has a lot more travel involved. Right next door we have Feralis, another contested zone with split faction quest lines. For Alliance, I went from 20 to 27 in 121 minutes. For Horde, went from 20 to 31 in 128 minutes. This is a zone that actually has very, very similar quest lines despite having different faction hubs, and actually may not have needed to been done twice. You will notice, however, there is a level difference between the two, and that is actually because I did not have war mode on for the Alliance testing. This was during a week when it jumped up to 20% for war mode, so Horde has war mode on at 10%. You can see the difference that war mode actually makes here. So this is a good example for you. Now we are moving on to a new category of zones that are still contested, but I've been calling them faction neutral zones. These are zones that have either completely identical quest lines with no difference between the two factions, or they are so similar despite having two different faction quest lines that the results are almost the same. Some of these you've noticed, such as Desolus, would have been one of those, but I didn't remember the two different factions in advance. So, Desolus is a good example here. So, starting with our first faction neutral zone on Kalimdor is actually Moonglade. However, this is not a leveling zone, despite having a very, very few minor quests for druids here specifically, so there is no data to report. Starting with our first actual faction neutral zone, we have Winter Spring, an old favorite of mine that always seems to have good results. This one got me from 23 to 34, which was pretty impressive, in 129 minutes. The time could have been better, but the time will vary depending on your class and ability to become a murder hobo. There is a lot of kill quests in this zone, so this one can actually be improved upon. Our next faction neutral zone is Fellwood. Another favorite of mine, you might recognize it as it was a star of the show in a previous leveling guide. So, how did it fare this time? I went from 24 to 35 in 108 minutes. Not too shabby in the grand scheme of things, as a lot of the Kalimdor zones aren't that 
great. The next faction neutral zone we have is Thousand Needles. This is not one of my favorite zones because it is very difficult to traverse, even with the free boat that they give you. So I purposely went there at level 30 with basic flying. I went from 30 to 36 in 102 minutes, so mm, not bad. Right next door, we have another faction neutral zone of Silithus. This is a shockingly short zone, and I went from 22 to 27 in 76 minutes. Because it was so quick at that range, I decided to do it in the next bracket as well. 31 to 34 in 52 minutes. So while this zone is impressively fast, unless you do some sort of tricky method, you're not going to get much out of it. The next faction neutral zone is Ungoro Crater. I went from 21 to 29 in 112 minutes. This is a very small zone in size, but there is a lot of back and forth, so the time just isn't great. Next, another faction neutral is Teneris. This is a painfully spread out zone, but at least the sand is pretty. We go from 20 to 29 in 115 minutes. Not much more to say here. Next for Faction Neutral is Mount Hyjal. This is one of my favorite zones since it belongs to Kata, and it is surprisingly long. I went from 30 to 42 in 196 minutes. You go all over the place with this one, and there's a lot of lore history to learn here too. It's pretty neat. Another Faction Neutral zone is Uldum. This is another Cataclysm specific zone, and actually has pretty good results if you know how to use it. I went from 34 to 41 in 205 minutes, but the last hour and a half there was actually the Harrison Jones questline. If you skip that part entirely, you'll get from 30 to 38 in about an hour. So this zone might be useful. And the last zone on Column Door is Enquarage, the Fallen Kingdom. This is not actually a questing zone, for leveling that is, so there is no data to report here. But wait, we're not done just yet. We have a couple more zones to get through. I tossed in Deep Holm, another faction neutral zone onto this list, since it's all by itself out in the maelstrom. I went from 30 to 40 in 180 minutes. This is actually the fastest zone of the Cataclysm specific zones and one of my favorite zones in the game. And for the very last zone I will add to this list, it's not on Column Door, but it is Horde specific. The Lost Isles slash Kazan, which is the Goblin starting zone. I went from 1 to 16 in 113 minutes. It's a very fun questline, but it's very long and only available for goblins. I did do this one with a friend, so that may affect the data a teensy bit. And there we have it, that concludes Kalimdor and every zone in it. If you took part in the poll that I did a couple days ago as of this video, my total time sunk into this entire continent was 59.7 hours. This is only tallying up the good times and not counting all of the redos or times I quested with a friend to get data. <laughs> so this is just the solo stuff that's recent. I hope you enjoyed this video, and next week you can expect to see the Eastern Kingdoms Part 1. Buckle up, Buttercup, we've still got a long ways yet. <laughs>